good fella, Henry Hill. Um, we're, we're going to talk about Henry's life. We're going to speak about um, his upbringing in Brooklyn and talk about how he started his life of crime. Um, take you through a little, a little bit about the film, etc., and just his life story. But as I said to you earlier, we'll throw it up to the audience at the end. Anybody wants to ask any questions, Henry's happy to answer them. And he answered them all to the FBI, so he's not afraid, he's not afraid of asking, uh, answering questions to you lot. Henry, welcome to Newcastle. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. And your family background, what was, what was your family background, Henry? Well, I come from, uh, I come from a family of eight, eight to eight. And I have four older sisters and uh, three of them are alive when just left us. Uh, it was great, you know, I mean, uh, you know, it was kind of a, for me it wasn't, you know, I thought it, you know, first of all I thought I was a poor kid, which I really, you know, was, you know, middle class, lower middle class. Or whatever. And, uh, you know, uh, I, you know, following four older sisters, all straight A students and stuff, you know, here I come along, I'm, I'm, I'm dyslexic, if anybody's here, dyslexic. And they didn't know what it was back in the 50s. You know, and uh, so they thought I was a real knucklehead. I mean, I couldn't read, I couldn't write. You know, numbers was all, everything was back, head backwards for me. And uh, I took a lot of, I mean, school, I didn't get school. I didn't get school from the first day my mother walked me into the schoolyard, you know, with short pants and all things. And all. <laughs> you know? And, uh, and uh, it, it was, you know, I mean, it, nah, 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 I'm not uh, feel sorry for myself, but, you know, they didn't know what the hell was wrong with me. I mean, they thought I was just, a, you know, a wise ass, you know, a fucking knucklehead. Excuse me. But, you know, and, uh, well, yeah, anyway, anyway, you know, and then uh, when I was about, uh, I guess, eight, seven, eight years old, nine years old, uh, the Italian mafia opened up uh, a cab stand across the street of my house. Almost directly, of course, you do. Caddy, caddy corner. It was a taxi and limousine service. You know? and, uh, so I, I used to run over there and wash their cars, you know. And it was a little bother, you know, knee high or grass up. And these guys just, just treat me okay. You know, they didn't care I couldn't read or write, you know what I mean? And, uh, and they kind of like adopted me. I was like, yeah, you know, but I, I mean, I, I hustled my ass over, you know what I mean? And they, I had to hear about it, give me a dollar, two dollars, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, I, I become attached to them. You know, like, these are guys with Cadillacs and diamond rings and all the hundreds that could choke a horse. You know, and, uh, and uh, naturally I got addicted to their lifestyle. You know, as a little, little kid. And, uh, you know, and, uh, but as I got older, you know, I was asked to do a little, you know, go you know, throw this brick through that window, you know, and go torch this cab, you know, when, when you know, another cab service trying to come into our neighborhood. But, you know, it was, uh, you know, and I, I, not, naturally I did it. You know, instead of getting a dollar or two, I got a $5 bill or a $10 bill. You know, and, and it was cool. Who were the main characters down there, Henry? Mm -hmm. Who were the main characters? I mean, Paul, Paulie was the oh, oh, main one. Uh, the the Valios, they had five brothers. And Paulie was made, he was a boy, he was a boss. Uh, Tony uh, was a maid, he was a baby, baby. And then, and then there was another brother, baby, he was made. There was two maid brothers, which, you know, I don't think you guys know what maid, you know, in Italian, you know. I put a button, you know, whatever that means. But, uh, you know, and, uh, and they kind of like adopted me, you know, and, you know, I would do shit for, you know, they wouldn't allow their kids to do, you know, and I'd do it. You know, I, mean, I got rewarded for it, but, you know, I don't get rewarded, you know, because I was a nice kid. You know, I got